If you have watched any of my videos and seen some of my images or you've been on my social media and seen any of my images and none of those images that I have ever shared since I set up this account have ever had dark frames applied to them. Today we are talking about why you should stop taking dark frames with a DSLR camera. Hi everybody, how's it going? My name is Nick and welcome back to another Astro Exploring video. If this is your first time here, then this YouTube channel is all about helping people on their astrophotography journey. So if that is something that interests you, then do consider subscribing. Okay, so why should you stop taking dark frames with a DSLR? Well, in short, it's a waste of good imaging time. Let me explain. Now it's important to know what a dark frame actually is and why it's useful in the astrophotography process in the first place. So a dark frame in its simplest form is just a pure noise frame. So when you're taking your light frames, you're collecting an amount of data on the deep sky object that you are imaging. And that's obviously the data that we are interested in and want to keep and be as clean as possible. And you're also collecting at the same time an amount of noise. Now a dark frame is there to deal with a specific type of noise that is created during an imaging session. And the noise that dark frames will help us with is hot pixels and amp glow. Now of course with a DSLR not being a cooled sensor and pointing at the same part of the sky as the mount tracks through the night sky, those hot pixels are naturally going to occur while you're capturing your light frames. And so when we're capturing a dark frame and we're popping the lens cap back onto our telescope or camera lens, you are essentially isolating that noise so that that is all you're capturing. You're no longer capturing the signal that you want to capture, you are just isolating that noise that you want. And during the stacking process, Deep Sky Stacker will be able to remove that noise from your light frames. And hence you'll end up with a cleaner image at the end of your stacking process. However, the problem with dark frames is that you need to meet a couple of conditions in order for them to be effective. And this is the problem with a DSLR. Now, the first condition that we need to be met, which is fairly obvious given the name, is that it needs to be captured in the dark. So it would either need to be captured during your imaging session outside in the dark with the viewfinder cupboard, or you could remove your imaging equipment from your mount, throw it in a cupboard, probably don't throw it, it's not a good idea to throw optical equipment in the cupboard and I take no responsibility for people doing that. And again, you would cover the viewfinder so that you can ensure that there are no ways that light could possibly get to your sensor. And then you would snap away a few dark frames like that. The problem with that, with the DSLR, and this leads us on to our second condition, is that the temperature of your sensor is what makes your dark frame effective. And the issue with a DSLR there is that we cannot control the temperature of the sensor because it's not a cooled camera. And therefore there is absolutely no way of being able to guarantee that the sensor temperature when we took our light frames matches the sensor temperature when we took our dark frames. And so what can happen is that when you're capturing your dark frames and your master dark file is trying to take away noise from your light frames, it can actually add more noise because the noise that's been captured in these frames doesn't match the noise that's been captured in the all light frames. And that creates a problem because you then end up working with a less quality image than what you otherwise would have been. And therefore the consensus is that you don't need to take darks with a DSLR. Of course, if you're using a cooled camera where you can control the temperature of your sensor, then you should use darks as well as dithering between frames. Now, dithering between frames is what you should be doing with a DSLR instead of taking darks. But even if you're not dithering, darks are still a waste of time. If you have watched any of my videos and seen some of my images or you've been on my social media and seen any of my images, and none of those images that I have ever shared since I set up this account have ever had dark frames applied to them. So between capturing your light frames, what dithering will do is it will move your telescope ever so slightly across the sky so that you're not always pointing at the exact same part of the sky. And when I say slightly, I mean we're generally gonna move sort of three pixels uh, and that is it. So you won't notice any difference in your final image. And what that will do is it will remove those hot pixels from your light frames and you'll end up with a much cleaner uh, set of light frames than what you would if you weren't dithering. And of course the best way for you to determine whether or not darks are a waste of time for you is to do two separate stacks. So stack your images with your dark frames and do another stack without your dark frames, process them exactly the same and just compare the two. See how you get on. I'm not promising that every DSLR or every scenario will be a waste of time. However, 
if your temperature sensor isn't the same as when you took your light frames, then your dark frames are going to work against you when it comes to post-processing and you'll have more noise in your image because of it. So go away and try it for yourselves. I mean, don't go away right now because you're watching a video, but at the end of this video, go away and try that for yourselves. Let me know how you get on and please leave a comment to let me know how you get on. I hope this is really helpful for you and I hope that a lot of people will stop taking darks with a DSLR and enjoy the extra imaging time that, uh, that that gives you. If this video has helped you out please do remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I upload a video. My name is Nick and you have been watching Astro Exploring.